Welcome to the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, breaking news out of the great white north. Two big takeaways from the last week. First, former Rizzuto mob lieutenant slash capo Antonio Tony Suzuki Petra Tantonio survived an assassination attempt last Wednesday in downtown Montreal. He fought off two assailants while surviving an attempted murder of himself and his daughter. The second big takeaway, according to media outlets in Montreal, the press being the most prominent, their sources are reporting that Tony Suzuki is now, or has been, and is now fully Team Hell's Angels. He is Team Marty in the war between the Rizzutos and the Hells Angels, that he jumped ship from his former uh, mafia organization in the last couple of years and is standing behind Marty Robert and the Hells Angels. So big news coming out of Montreal over the last week. Tony Suzuki goes all the way back to the 80s, was a driver, bodyguard, messenger for Vito Rizzuto, for Vito Rizzuto's longtime right-hand man, uh, Renal Desjardins. Eventually, he joined uh, Desjardins in his uh, insurgents effort in the late 2000s, early 2010s, trying to unseat Vito Rizzuto. He got his nickname because he owned a um, Suzuki motorcycle dealership, was a big time drug lieutenant, construction, um, construction racketeering, and was one of the main go-betweens for the Rizzutos. And there then very copacetic, mutually beneficial relationship with the Hell's Angels. Tony Suzuki uh, got busted with with Desjardins in the 90s, did did a prison term, used to, like I said, used to uh, drive and bodyguard for both Rizzuto and Desjardins. Um, He he was head of the delegation uh, to Marty Robert's wedding back in 2018. I'm told that for a period of time, he was back into the fold with the Rizzutos, um, and that was very short-lived. And now, according to what we're hearing from the media outlets in Montreal, he has abandoned uh, his former bosses in the Rizzutos. So it, it would, you know, just doing a little, you know, math, it would seem that this hit came from or this attempted hit came from the Rizzutos. Um again very audacious uh reckless I guess I mean they're always it seems like even in mafia wars there's etiquette against going after people's family that have nothing to do with uh the warfare especially when you're talking about women and children this was you know this was this was took place in, bro- not broad daylight, it was six o'clock. Well, it might've actually been broad daylight, broad daylight, six o'clock uh, in the uh, uh, early evening out in front of, a, uh, I believe it was a restaurant or a, or a building. He was getting out of his car. Him and his daughter were both getting out of his car and two assailants, one with a gun and one with a knife, uh, attacked them. According to uh, police reports, Tony Suzuki grabbed the guy with a knife and somehow shielded himself from a, from gunshots being being put in, uh, you know shot in his direction and then by you know fording it these guys fled um and, and he survived it it was on the scene when 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 police responded you know just it, it's just crazy i mean it just gets crazier by by the second um talking about where the risotto stand right now it looks like a lot, or from what I'm told, a lot of the muscle work, a lot of the front line uh, infantry in, in these wars being fought, uh, and the war against the Hells Angels has been going on now for about uh, 20 months or so, that they're using street gangs, uh, guys like the Blood, you know, the Blood Family Mafia in Quebec City, the Prophet Boys, and that they are now aligned with a different motorcycle club, the Vikings. Um, but they're not really having a lot of their own uh, shooters, trigger men, muscle do the work, that they're farming it out. So 
maybe that's one of the reasons that some of these very brazen hits over the last 20 months, including the failed assassination of Leo Rizzuto back in March of 23, which really sparked this, it doesn't look like these are, are seasoned hitmen. Uh, it looks like there's there's the street gang members. Uh, and I guess what popped in my head when I heard about what happened with Tony Suzuki was I remembered the first season of The Sopranos when Tony staves off the state assassination, uh, the either the final episode or the second to final episode, by kind of grappling with his hitmen. And it looks like Tony Suzuki did the same thing. He uh, avoided another assassination back in 2011, where he was shot, I think, five or six times in Villa Ray, um, was in critical condition, but you know, came out the other side of it for the better. Um, Baldy Balberio right now to me is him and I, I mentioned last week, Mini Me uh, seem to be the the threads that are keeping this Rizzuto empire all together. Um, one of our commenters said that Little Sauce uh, is sick. I, it's possible. Um, and uh, Rizzuto, Leo Rizzuto is, is underground bunker style right now, has not really been seen publicly in over a year. But Baldi Barbario, who also has very strong relationships with the Hells Angels, it's like he right now is the key to everything, um, it appears. Um, and that if the Rizzuto somehow lost him, it, it could be game, set, match. Only time will tell, but Tony Suzuki avoids another assassination attempt this past week with his daughter fending off two knife and gun wielding assailants and according to la presse tony suzuki is no longer a member of the Rizzuto mafia he is now team marty and team hell's angels we'll keep giving you the breaking news up in canada please like subscribe and share here at the og pod we love giving you all the breaking news uncovering the underworld as benny has put it um thank you for benny behind the glass thank you for all you uh fans out there we'll keep giving you the great true crime real life organized crime news that you, you crave scott bernstein og pod out